Hey everyone, welcome into Bleacher Talk. I'm Claudia Collins alongside Jordan Spurgeon and tonight we're at Desert Vista High School where the Thunder have experienced a lot of change in the last four years because they've had four coaches in four seasons. Yeah, the newest head coach Scooter Molander was at Brophy Prep and then most recently at Eastmark High School where he was able to bring home a 3A state championship. And while many of us on the outside could see having four coaches in four years be a very difficult thing to overcome, these guys might see it a little bit differently here. Yeah, and I'd say they're bought in. It's hard, you know. Um, we're just going through a lot of changes, you know what I'm saying, what, a couple times, a few times. But I feel like mentally you just got to adapt to it, you know what I'm saying, be like, hey, new coach, new opportunity, get, get better, you know what I'm saying, new faces. So it just makes you better overall. Everywhere I go, I hear about how great of a coach Coach Mo is. Literally, I can just be out at the park and I'll hear other people saying, yeah, he's one of the best in the state. And so I really just remind them like, yo, guys, this is the man that God's put in our life. This is the man that's going to lead us. We just got to buy in and trust because I think that God's given us all some great talents in this room and in this team. And I think that if we all just buy in and trust Coach Mo and that we just buy into the team, I think that great things can really happen with us. It makes me feel real good that they're embracing our culture. So we, uh, myself and three other coaches from Eastmark are now uh, proud to be leading these quality young men at Desert Vista. Coach Mo, he's one of my favorite coaches I've had so far. He, he'll work you, but he'll also he'll tell you when you do good. He'll tell you when you do bad, but he'll tell you when you do good. He'll work you real hard, but it'll be fun. It'll be longer practices, so you get more in, but you get a ton, a ton of work. To start, it was kind of shocking because we weren't ready for it. But every day we we'll get better in the weight room, waiting for the next coach. It didn't matter who was coming in or what was going to happen. We were going to be ready for the next opportunity that we get as a team. So hearing that Coach Mo stepped in, we were happy. Seeing what he did at East Mark and Brophy, we were excited to have him as a coach here and to help the team. At first it was hard, you know, for coaches. It's mentally tolling. But once you get over it, you realize that it's not such a bad thing and you learn a lot from it. It was a struggle at first, but after a while we got, we got to pick our heads up at some point, fight through the pain, fight through the power we have. That's through the weight room, practice, and uh, even the small things like meetings, be on time. It changed us, but it's going to make us better at the end of the day. Well, knowing uh, you know, the history, being the fourth head coach in four years, um, me coming in and talking and saying a bunch of stuff isn't going to cut it. The only way it was going to happen is me showing up every day, uh, following through on what I say, um, getting to know them personally, and hopefully over time uh, they'll begin to trust. Um, I knew that, that the, the only way that it was going to happen was through consistency on my part and through our staff. Some people say it's hard that um, seeing these many coaches and having this many coaching changes, but I think it's just a blessing to be able to hear from as many high-level guys. Coach Mo, great coach, you know, uh, 20, 20 years, been doing this for almost his whole life. So I, we put trust in him, you know what I'm saying? The whole, the whole community, the whole uh, system, we put trust in coach. And it's not the way I would have planned it, but God had a better play, plan because this way, there are so many things that maybe if one coach doesn't see, another coach does see. And so I just think it's an advantage. In life, we don't get to control what happens to us all the time. We always get to control our response. And so, uh, you know, these guys, uh, they, didn't, they didn't get to choose, you know, their high school football experience. But they do get to cho choose uh, today and tomorrow and the days that come. And, um, so far, they've made, they've made great choices. One, two, three. There we go, I like it.